What's up, In Style Atlanta? I'm your girl, Shayla Ray, and we are here with the beautiful Thank you. Toya Bush Harris. Thank you. Welcome Thank you. from Mary to Medicine. Yes. Thank you. It's nice to have you. I'm so glad you guys came by. You see, I was chilling outside. I was like, I'm going to get some cocktails. Speaking <laughs> of that, this is a beautiful, beautiful home. Girl, that was a blessing. Yes, it, it was really a long was. time coming. We saw on the show. Yeah. So tell us just a little bit about what happened. Yeah. You know what? Honestly, we thought that we had found the perfect house in Duluth. I don't know if you know a little bit about mm -hmm. Georgia, but it's about an hour outside the city. It was about an hour and 45 minutes away from my husband's job. Mm -hmm. But we were like, so what? It's a beautiful home. You know, we love outside activities, as you can see. We were like, so we just wanted to make sure it was conducive to our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to move ASAP. So we kind of rushed into a situation without having our attorneys look into the paperwork and the black and white of it. Mm -hmm which ended up backfiring not in our favor and so we ended up losing fifty thousand dollars which was um very hard for me to swallow mm. <laughs> but in the midst of that god is good he came up with another solution for us to move and so we never even considered doing a lease purchase on a home mm -hmm. but it came as a wonderful blessing i mean this house it's a lot of upkeep, you know, mm -hmm. and but we were getting a chance to kind of fill it out, see if we love it, and um, honestly, we do, you know. So we're just kind of waiting on the owners to see, you know, when he wants to pursue with the lead, with the buying process because he's not in the country. So you never got. The we money never back. purchased. We never you got never the money back. Wow. Uh, we did finally get the approval letter, which you will see on the reunion. Okay. Because I was sure to set the record straight this time. Um, and you know, we, once we got the approval letter, we just kind of was like, stop. Mm -hmm. I think we're moving way too fast. Right. You know what I'm saying? We really was like, let's sit back and just take it all in and just take our time. And so that's what we're doing now. And one of the things we've learned is that this area is where we want to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so close to my son's school. He just got accepted to a private school in really close proximity. And, it's just, it's an amazing neighborhood. I miss so many families and stay-at-home moms. It's crazy. Like, when I go to the gym there and they're cheering me on, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so well, That's been, great. I was going to ask if you love the neighborhood, so I take that as a oh, yes. yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, Chastain area is, fun. It's, it has everything from kids' sports to playgrounds to walking areas, bike routes, everything that me and my husband love to do, and it's quiet. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we were out telling my husband the other day, we saw a hawk on that fence over there. Yeah, it's almost like we're in his house. Wow. You know, we were like, okay, yeah, we did buy this from a hawk, but literally it was a hawk on that fence over there. So. And speaking of that, I mean, are you able to tell us which hawk it was, um, which NBA player owned this house first? Um, You know what? I I don't know if I'm able to say. I mean, he knows that I'm on a television show, and so I'm assuming, you know, he would be okay with it. But um, he was recently traded, I'll say that, to the okay. Milwaukee Bucks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, congrats to him. Thank you. So just walk, walk us, walk, welcome to you, just walk us through your journey Okay. for a minute. Um, how did you and your husband meet? Oh, my gosh, girl. We were doing a speed dating event. Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> I was, you know what, I was at home in Michigan. I was really involved in a lot of charities and foundations, and one of my friends had a foundation, and he was like, I want to do something different. I want to raise money in a different way. And he came up with a speed dating event idea, which at first we thought was kind of weird and corny, but after seeing that television, that movie that came out yeah. with the Fresh Prince, it was like the biggest <laughs> thing at the time. So we were like, okay, let's go, let's do it, let's have fun. Went there, got straight up nervous, was like, I'm good, I'm not doing it. <laughs> and he ended up coming and he ended up, we, we ended up like kind of speed dating amongst the table. Uh -huh. And it was so tripped out because he was so mean to my girl that I couldn't wait till it was my turn. I was like, I'm going to get him. <laughs> yeah. But he was so nice to me. So wow. Yeah. And you guys have been together. We have since. been. Girl, I wouldn't say right after that we got together. That wasn't the case. But you know, <laughs> he did. He did a lot of leg work, and you know, and we. He just wooed me, you know. And that was something that men just were not doing back then. They weren't taking the time to see what a woman loved and liked, and and really, you know, applying their dating strategies to her. I mean, this man was making picnic baskets, taking me to the park. He was reading books with me so that we could talk about it. He was DDR on shows that he thought I'd be interested in, like uh, Rising. Wow. And, and, and Platinum Weddings. Girl, he was doing it all. Wow. 
He, so. Well, he looks like it worked. It did. He did what he needed to it do. Did. It so did. So what is it like being a doctor's wife? You know, some days it's really annoying because you're held to a certain standard where you have to be out there in, you know, the socialized setting and you have to represent him as this individual who knows so much about the medical industry. Um, weirdly enough, I just so happened to have been a pharmaceutical rep, so I was familiar with some of the medical terms. But, I mean, it's some days where I'll hear him having a conversation and be like, what language are you speaking? You know, and then he'll have to bring it, he'll bring it down. I'm, I'm literally, I'll say he'll bring it down and I'll take it down 20 times so that I can literally understand what the hell he just said. <laughs> and, you know, but it's, but it's fun. It really is because, I mean, outside of that, he's just human. He's a regular, normal person, and we have so much fun together because, I ain't gonna lie, I tell everybody, I married my husband for his brain, honey. He is the most educated individual that I know. And we just, if I ever know, if I ever have a question about anything, honey, why is the sky blue? Oh, baby, that's because the water is reflecting <laughs> off of the world. You know, it's just like, he got an answer. And I love that in a black man. I really do. That so. is so amazing. So what was his thought? Um, when you were presented uh, with the option to be on this reality TV show? You know, initially me and him both said no for quite some time. For like a good, they must have asked us like three or four times when we were like, nah, not interested. I mean, it just wasn't our thing. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really the TV type. You know, I, when I first started filming, I used to shake all the time. You couldn't tell, but I was tongue-tied. Tongue it was just horrible. And he, we just was focused on our family. And we were so content and happy where we were, you know, that we didn't want that to change. And now that we're involved in it, we had to learn how to make sure we still kept our life at that place where it was unchanging. You know, it's like your friends, you know who your, your friends are, and you don't want them to, you don't want to lose them because you're now in a different type of life. I mean, when was the last time you hung out with your girl and somebody asked to take a picture with you? You know what I'm saying? So my girls are looking like, they had to, okay, wait a minute. Oh, this is Toya TV Toya, you know. <laughs> and, and, you know, and then you go back to being you. So, I mean, initially it was something that we really had to consider because we had two very young children. And we didn't know if how it would affect them. But what we're finding out is, girl, my sons love being on the dog on camera. Do I mean, they? girl, they show out. <laughs> I think on one of the episodes, I was like, come here, come here. They were running around just playing like like they can't hear me. You know you hear me. <laughs> but because they thought they knew the camera was present, they just running around, just acting oh, for the camera. And I'm like, oh, really? That's all we do? And they really, funny. really like it. You know, they ask me all the time, mommy, when the camera's coming back. Oh. So, well, that's it's been a blessing. to hear. Now, we spoke to Mariah. Oh, wow. And, uh, that conversation was interesting. <laughs> okay. Yes, it, it was. But um, she mentioned that she kind of was the person that put everybody together, and she did She did. Everything. I mean, honestly, when I met Mariah, um, she kind of implants herself in your life. Mm -hmm. And I mean that literally. She did everything. She became the person who was around when my baby was born, to working out with me at the gym, wow. to having lunch with me almost three times out the week to us having July 4th of July parties in each other's backyard. Yeah, she just kind of fell in there. And my friends was looking like, who is this girl? <laughs> you know, because she was different from right. everybody. Like, we were, we were the we were the laid back, kick back, you know, we had some red bottoms that we wore every blue moon, but we wasn't wearing them over our girl's house. Right. Mariah would come in with the red bottom boots that came over above me. <laughs> we were looking like, for real, we just watched TV. It was a wine night, you know. And, um, and she, she did. She just kind of, she befriended me, and um, I was already, Jackie was my doctor with my firstborn. And Simone I knew through a mutual friend. Uh, so we didn't have a relationship together, me and Simone, but we knew each other. We mm -hmm. knew of each other. We spoke at holiday events. Mm -hmm. And um, Heavenly, I actually knew as one of the first people when I first moved here. We just, um, we hung out whenever our husbands wanted to hang out. Me and her, we just never were on the same page. When I first moved here, she was with two children and a family. Mm -hmm. I had just got, we had just built our first house and I had a dog, you know. <laughs> right. And my dog was chilling in my passenger seat. You know, right. that was my version of a family with my husband. Mm -hmm. And we were just on two totally different pages. So um, everybody knew each other, but we never was a combined unit mm -hmm. until Married to Medicine. 
And how has the overall experience been for you in reality TV? Do you feel like you've been portrayed in the correct light? No, I don't. I mean, but you know what? What I've learned is that you only can... It's not my show. I am not Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. I'm not any of the Kardashians, so I don't have any editorial rights. I... It is what it is. I mean, if they see you as a person or a character or they like, let's say they, they're, okay, let's say we can use, for instance, Laverne and Shirley. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Laverne and Shirley are not that damn dingy. <laughs> but at the end of the day, they love that about them. They love that for TV. So when they saw me, they were like, Toya's funny. She's, she jokes all the time. She's cool as hell. You know, she, um, she's not trying to be politically correct all the time in her speech. She's just hanging. She's mm -hmm. just Toya. And we're going to highlight that. You know, now, does that make me different from the group of women? Oh, yeah, definitely. But is different sometimes good? Yeah. Because we have a very diverse dynamic of people that are watching our show. And they're all not with PhDs. They're all, you know, it's all different types, if right. you can't tell. And, and so they need all the different types on TV. Absolutely. Now, you're out of the group. I would say you were the only true stay-at-home mom. Yeah. So it's kind of good to see that aspect. Yeah. Um, can you just let us know how difficult it that is? It is very is? difficult to the point sometimes people, you know, even with this season, when you see the reunion, you're going to see really how difficult that was to overcome the challenges of the women attacking.